there's been stories out of Washington regarding the FBI's action. Had I'd say this, I... and that I would deliver to him a $5,000 cashier's check. Here is a copy of the minutes of November the 21st, 1979. Uh, what you're saying is that uh, the FBI offered you a... Mr. Henderson got to with me a few days later, and quite frankly, in the meantime, I had second thoughts about any official investigation realizing that there were four of them and one of me. And knowing, and uh, I know I'm honest, the people close to me know it, but all public officials are not so perceived. And quite frankly, I was getting ready to run for the U.S. Senate. I thought I had handled it and getting the money to the state of Oklahoma for any benefit etc. They did not say to me, we are giving you, I had rejected any effort that they had made. Sometime in November, a call was received by my office and an appointment was made to see me regarding the health insurance in my office in Tulsa would be forthcoming. Any knowledge has anyone else well, there's no question as a lawyer in my mind it was entrapment. That's why I did not feel so that it was a setup. It makes me feel real good to know that these people care enough to come. It makes me feel good because to know that there are children growing up in this world that care enough about somebody else. And that, that makes you feel real good. Is there anything else you need here? I don't know. Sometimes. <laughs> That's <laughs> going to scare us all. I'm going to laugh at that all Sammy. Oh, I think it's wonderful, really. I really do. I think it's wonderful of them. There's snow outside, and it's cold, and when I opened the door, they were just about froze. And they cared enough to come and see about somebody that they really didn't know. And it made me feel pretty good. I have it. Teachers package now is necessary in the way of our reason. Age of 
exactly how much they're going to have and the allocation. One of the things I considered is this is set up by law enforcement. It was so clumsily handled, such a classic case of entrapment out of, you might say, out of law school criminal law course, that I didn't feel any law enforcement agency could be involved and be that clumsy. I think the people are prisoners of war. I think the United States is the one being held hostage. In fact, I think the same thing occurred with Vietnam and us as prisoners of war in Vietnam. Uh, they were holding up the United States government by holding us. We were the only thing they had. And I think right now that's the only thing the Iranians have got is 50 Americans. But the thing is, you, you like to see the uh, media Senator Monroney was uh, a very unusual person uh, on the national and international level. Coming from a sort of rural state in those, those days like Oklahoma, he still was able to not only do his work here but become an international figure. He was a very learned scholar, particularly in the area of procedure, and uh, attended many meetings around the world as the learned man on legislative procedure. He was a brilliant man. And he had a rare combination of being able to take care of the folks at home and still be an international figure, and he served the state well. Thank you. 